What's up everybody? Welcome to Rotor Riot Workbench. I'm Let's Fly RC, and today I'm going to show you how to load a dump file onto your flight controller. If you have a Rotor Riot built-in tune drone, or if you have followed along with a Rotor Riot build video and used all of the components in that video, it is very probable that our Rotor Riot support team can send you a dump file to help you set up your flight controller. Email support at rotorriot.com to inquire. Maybe you have accidentally changed settings or upgraded firmware on your drone and erased all of the settings it shipped with. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly restore or upgrade your drone firmware to the latest settings and pro tune that the Rotorite built in tune drones ship with. I will also show you how to adjust a subset of the settings that may be wrong in your configuration. The first thing we need to do is open the text file that Rotorite will make available to you. This is an example of a text file opened in Notepad on Windows. This text file contains the code needed to configure your flight controller. After opening the text file in Notepad on Windows, we need to plug in the flight controller and connect it to Betaflight. Once your flight controller is plugged in, go ahead and click Connect to connect it to Betaflight. Before changing the settings on your flight controller, double check that the version of firmware on your flight controller matches the version of the code you will be using to modify the settings. Next, we want to navigate to the CLI tab. It is the very bottom tab in Betaflight on the left-hand side. In your text file, you want to copy all of the text and then paste it into the CLI tab. Press Enter, type Save, and press Enter one more time. I'm going to click in the notepad, type Control A to select all, type Control C to copy, click into Betaflight. We need to click on the text field where it says write your command here and then type Control V on your keyboard to paste the code. As you can see, the save has already been written at the end of this file, so all we need to do is press Enter. If save is not written at the end of your text file, you will need to type save and press Enter after pasting the code. After pressing Enter, you will see all of the code scroll by, and at the end, the flight controller will reboot and reopen in Betaflight. Click Connect one more time to connect your flight controller, and the new settings should be applied to your flight controller. If you just need to update a small section of your drone settings, such as the on-screen display, for example, the procedure is the same. In this file, the on-screen display settings all start with OSD, so I will select only those lines of text, copy, and paste it into Betaflight, type save and enter, and all of my OSD settings will be updated. Let's navigate down to where it says set OSD units equals imperial, and select all of the text down to where it says set OSD stick overlay right position equal 245. Once I have selected that text, I will either right click and copy, or I can type control C, navigate over to Betaflight, navigate to the CLI tab, click into the text box at the bottom, and type control V or right click and paste, and press enter. Now that all of the code has been loaded into the CLI window, type save and enter. And the flight controller will reboot, and if we reconnect, our OSD tab will now be updated with the latest settings. Another skill that could be useful to help troubleshoot your drone is the ability to export the current configuration of our flight controller into a dump file. This file can be shared with others to help diagnose any problems you may be having with your drone. In order to do that, we're going to navigate back to the CLI tab in Betaflight with the flight controller plugged in. Click into the text line at the bottom, type dump, D-U-M-P, and enter, and all of the settings that are currently on the flight controller will show up on your screen. Once all of the settings have loaded on the screen, there are two ways you can put it into a text file. The first method is to select all of the text with your mouse and cursor by clicking and dragging all of the way to the top of the text. Once you have selected all of the text, type Control C to copy, go back to Notepad, open a new Notepad document, and type Control V to paste the code into Notepad. Now if you save this as a text file, you can share it with others to help diagnose your drone's configuration. The second way to move this information into a text file is to click Save to File in Betaflight. After you click Save to File in Betaflight, a window will open asking you where you want to save the file. Name the file something useful, click Save, and you will have saved this information to a text file. I have other helpful videos, such as how to set up your Rotorite starter kit, and we will link those in the description. Be sure to check those out. If this video was helpful, be sure to like and subscribe so you can see more videos like this. I'm Let's Fly RC, and we'll see you next time on Rotorite Workbench.